All right, people. Uh, different kind of video today. I'm going to be going to the India Science Festival, uh, which is happening in Aisar Pune, and I'm going to be speaking at one of the events. So more details about both of them soon. Currently in Bellevue Airport on my way to Pune. My flight is in about an hour. I'll see you there. So I arrived at Pune. Now I have to find uh, whoever is waiting for me. What's up, people? So those of you who uh, subscribed to my channel last year, this time. Uh, would remember that I made a similar vlog last year. That was for the India Science Festival. The same festival has invited me this year, and they've been super kind enough with uh, providing me with this amazing hotel room. And uh, the festival is over this weekend, uh, Jan twenty first, twenty second. I don't know when this vlog is going to come up. Um, and um, uh, yeah, everything I said in the last vlog is true this time also. Uh, the festival is trying to improve the ecosystem of science communication, science and tech in India. And it's doing so by bringing experts, uh, people in the academia, scientists, professors, researchers, along with science communicators like myself and a lot of others. And uh, I'll be meeting many people I've not gone yet. It's going to start in a while. Uh, I'll be meeting many people there and uh, I'm giving a talk and yeah, let's see if the festival goes. This is the fifth edition of the India Science Festival. How do we get youth excited about science and technology? Right, as much as they're excited about Bollywood, sports uh, and now becoming an entrepreneur. We have speakers coming from around the world, from Tokyo, from Australia, from the United States, you know, from UK. He said that when you come to understand, you speak Hindi until Hindi. When you close to understand, you speak Hindi until Hindi. So the same thing applies to science as well. Science is not something exotic. Science is something today we use every day in life. Today it may seem something which is new and exotic. That's where science normally works at. To learn, get yourself exposed to what can be done. You have you have access to all these people, these great uh, people who work hard to do it for making your life and your kids' life so much better. Look at the sheer amount of people. That the turn of this year is massive compared to last year. So, yeah. <laughs> so good. So this is David Price and he is part of an organization from the UK called Science Made Simple. Now what they do is they have many shows and this is one of those shows. What the shows are intended to do is expose an audience to a science uh, that they normally would not have seen presented in that manner or with that content. So he's really good on stage. There were four performances that he did and in each one the amount of energy he had blew me away. And yeah, uh, after the show, I managed to talk to him. I got a selfie with him and yeah, hope we see again and work with each other in the future. So it's very good at strength, but a better word in science it means that material is very... So we're going to harness the elastic properties of rubber and apply a force to see if we can get a mobile phone inside of it. This time, this time, here we go. Three, two, one. Ah! Ah! Not only have I got a mobile phone inside a balloon, but my phone's grown a little penis. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> So 
so today is day two of the fest i didn't get to uh, make a, a video like this last night i was late but uh, today is day two and let me first talk about day one the fest this year is massive compared to last year uh, and there is a lot more attendance there are a lot more shows uh, more than just talks and discussions and debates there are shows so i showed you a, a water performance that we had um, i even spoke to the person who conducted it i've always been saying in my uh, talks on this channel and uh, even on the main channel i've spoken about how india needs avenues where people can expose themselves to science or experience science through more than just schools and textbooks shows like these i think are the number one ways to do that because you should have seen the whole auditorium was packed when the show was going on what he was showing was very simple very basic he was talking about you know uh, about water and its properties and some basic experiments but the amount of audience that was there for it was just insane in the evening i also got to see a presentation by a youtuber an american uh, who uh, combines music and science uh, on his channel you should go check him out his name is a capella science i haven't spoken to him to, uh, yet but today hopefully i will and uh, yeah uh, i've not seen any of the exhibits yet i hopefully will do that today but man with the awesomeness that's there in the shows alone like why do you even why do we even need to see exhibits at this point i would say i met a lot of people uh, some of the family faces that i met last year also and i met them uh, met many of them i met many new people a lot of people knew me already they came up to me appreciated my channel which i really appreciated and yeah let's see what's in store for today As an avid YouTube watcher, when you see that uh, YouTube India is uh, filled with pseudoscience and misinformation, um, and I wanted someone to call all that out and talk about actual real science, and when I saw that wasn't really happening at a scale I wanted it to, I decided, okay, maybe I can do it, and uh, that's how my channel started out. My channel is called Science is Dope. In case anyone is wondering, who the hell am I? Uh, So the festival has ended and today was insanely, yes. <laughs> I mean if yesterday was good, today was even better. Uh, uh, you already know it, you would have seen it in the video. Uh, there was a musical performances, there was uh, that's Ranvaji talking, by the way. Uh, and, uh, yeah, man. I think what FAST is doing for India with ISF and bringing people together into bringing people in science together. My God. Anyway, uh, bringing uh, these kinds of interests together and exposing people to science outside of academics is something I talk about all the time. And I'm so glad. Uh, that I get to be a part of it too. So, uh, yeah, uh, I hope they invite me again next year. And, uh, yeah. See you. So, day two is over. I'm back at the hotel. Uh, my talk was great. I met a lot of you guys. It was a great, amazing experience. Uh, fast, it was a great festival you held uh, this year. Uh, I hope to see the enthusiasm that I saw today again in the future in other places all over the country. I'll see you in the next one.